That was Peyton Manning's final touchdown pass as a member of the Indianapolis Colts. From 1998 to 2010, no NFL quarterback had more of them. No quarterback had more passing yards, wins, or game-winning drives in that span either. Yet even with the records, the Pro Bowls and the Super Bowl, when you look back at the Manning era in Indy, the heartbreak outweighs the triumph. Four interceptions of Peyton Manning today, and the Patriots are heading back to the Super Bowl. Vanderjack's kick is on its way. That kick is long enough, and it's no oh, time! The Chargers will rush in on Peyton Manning. Passes up in the air. Dallas Clark couldn't hold it. The San Diego Chargers are going to go to Foxborough. They've taken it away from the world champion. There will be no repeat. 22 yards for the lightning bug. The Chargers have taken down Indianapolis. Manning in the shotgun, looks in his direction. It's picked off! It's picked off! It's Tracy Porter again! He's running free! He's going to go all the way! Hand out stretch! It is a safe touchdown! Take this AFC wildcard game in 2010. Coming into Lucas Oil Stadium that day were Rex Ryan's hungry Jets, who had tasted defeat at the hands of Manning the year before in the 2009 AFC Championship. Felt like a magic carpet ride for the Jets over the past few weeks, but they came up against Peyton Manning, and he was at his best. Different story on this day. Indy couldn't get anything going on offense, coming up empty on three straight third and shorts. Manning goes right to the snap, and the Jets are equal to the task. Third and one here. And Manning will swing it to the outside, and that won't get the first down. And throws, and it's incomplete. And the Jet defense has now stopped the Colts on three straight third and short. It wasn't until deep into the second quarter when the Colts found Pater on a perfect strike from number 18. Play fake, deep drop, got time, steps into the throw, got a man running free, and caught at the 20, 10, 5, touchdown Colts! They got Garcon on a slam right to left, and the Colts take a 6-0 lead. What a throw by Manning! After an errant Mark Sanchez interception halted a Jets drive, Andy took over with 45 seconds to go and inexplicably ran out the clock. New York then took the second half's opening kickoff and marched right down the field in 10 plays for the game's second touchdown. Tomlinson behind Richardson. LT trying to get in. He does. Touchdown. The Jets' next possession was a clinic on how to defeat Manning's Colts. New York held the ball for nearly 10 minutes on a 17-play, 87-yard drive, capped off again by number 21. Right here on third and goal. Tomlinson, touchdown. For all the talk about Manning, it was another future Hall of Famer in Tomlinson who stole the show in this wildcard clash. At 31 years old, LT gained nearly 1,300 yards from scrimmage in his first stanza with the Jets. His 99 total yards and two scores against Indy set the pace for Brian Schottenheimer's balanced ball control offense. Now with only two minutes and 36 seconds to go and the Colts down by one, Manning would take the field for the final time in a Colts uniform. All while his go-to guy was erased on Revis Island. Well, if the Jets end up winning this game, Darrell Revis is going to get the good chunk of the credit because so far Reggie Wayne with one catch for one yard. You could say Peyton Manning should look for him more. There's been nowhere to look. Wayne would rather vacation at Guantanamo than Revis Island. With or without Wayne, Peyton found a way to get the job done, setting up Adam Vinatieri for another clutch kick in his Hall of Fame catalog. It's dead center between the hash marks. It's 50 yards under perfect conditions. Adam Vinatieri. What else is new? But like 10 of their previous 11 playoff appearances, Indianapolis unraveled when it mattered most, squandering another chance at the Lombardi Trophy. Here's Cromarty. Cromarty, out past the 30. Sanchez starts by hitting Edwards. Sanchez slings it to the outside. That's a first down. Sanchez with protection. You're right, they go to Edwards. 32-yard field goal to win the game and send the Jets 
to Foxborough. Good. Nick Falk. And the Jets with Ryan saying it's Super Bowl or bust this year. Take one big step. A bombshell out of Indianapolis. Peyton Manning's season is in jeopardy after a third surgery on his injured neck. The Colts quarterback is out indefinitely. As Manning watched from the sidelines, the Colts crashed in 2011. The trio of Kerry Collins, Curtis Painter, and Dan Orlovsky led the team to a 2-14 record while question marks surrounded the greatest quarterback in franchise history. Those questions were answered in March of 2012. I've been a Colt for almost all of my adult life. But I guess in life and in sports, we all know that nothing lasts forever. I go with just a few words left to say. A few words I want to address to Colts fans everywhere. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I truly have enjoyed being your quarterback. We've seen our fair share of franchise QBs land on different teams at the end of their careers. Take Johnny Yu with the Chargers or Joe Namath with the Rams. Brett Favre retired, then unretired before landing with the Jets and Vikings. And Joe Montana went from legend to backup in San Francisco before getting shipped off to the Chiefs. So while the Colts had moved on to a kid named Luck in Palo Alto, it was a former Stanford star who landed free agency's top prize, changing the course of NFL history. I'll introduce the next quarterback of the Denver Broncos, Peyton Manning. And that is the seventh touchdown pass by Peyton Manning. It's the first time it's happened in the NFL in 44 years. And there's the record. Peyton Manning's 51st touchdown pass of the year. The most passing yards ever in NFL history, 5,477 yards. Peyton Manning now has more touchdown passes than any other player in NFL history. In what may be the final game of his Hall of Fame career, he and the Denver Broncos are world champions.